Joe Biden is by far the sleepiest president in American history. In fact, with no more cocaine in the White House, he can barely get his chin off his chest as he answers important questions during this press conference. And we brought Israelis and Palestinians together at a political level, and they are, and, uh, at the, uh, and Akwa and his bull Shram. Yes. And uh, as I uh, affirmed the Prime Minister... Okay, so there is the most powerful man in the world trying to answer some sort of a question, um, disrespecting his visitor as well as the American people. But that wasn't enough. When he finally got a little energy, he went out to nibble a baby that wasn't even his. I mean, this is just crazy stuff that's going on. Um, and I hope it doesn't happen. I hope that Biden does not keep nibbling babies. I don't think that you should nibble especially if you have a past that has said this guy nibbles a lot of babies. So please put in the comments, do you think it's okay for Joe Biden, an 81-year-old old man, to sniff and nibble and play with babies after he's been told specifically, stop doing it. Take a look. His trip overseas, just leaving Finland a short time ago on his way back from the United States. More analysis on his performance on the world stage. Even the child is, mom... I think that mother, and, and I don't say this lightly, the mother needs to lose her child, um, take a few courses in order to get her child back, because we've all seen what Joe Biden does with kids, grabs them, touches them, sniffs them. If you haven't seen the footage, we detailed that quite uh, thoroughly in a, a previous video. Just type in Kayvon Biden touches kids, and the hand always accidentally grazes the breasts of a 12-year-old girl or the buttocks or the chin or the cheek. And then it's no surprise while so many, so many of these books going into schools uh, and they're saying, they're, well, why are the Republicans banning books? Well, they're not banning books. They're banning graphic pedo novels. I can't say certain words here. Uh, and they don't want them in the hands of 10 year olds. That is different than banning a book. You're an adult. Go read any book you want. Stop forcing these types of books on our kids and stop forcing this kind of president on our base. His trip overseas, just leaving Finland a short time ago on his way back from the United States. More analysis on his performance on the world stage.